whether you are starting a new technology project, getting ready for UK socks, or simply trying to update your internal controls, the tips from these industry veterans will help you get your project off on the right foot. Make sure you stick around until the end when we've got a resource that will help you figure out if your internal controls are as good as you think they are. Is there any top tips we can give the people watching this either live or, or replay in terms of the readiness process? You know, we talked a little bit about looking at your documented processes. Um, is there any top tips in terms of readiness for, for the UK? Yeah, version? yeah. Um, the, the first thing is probably what I should say at the end is the first year is going to be awful. You know, anytime you have anything new and you implement it, it's awful, but you'll adjust to it. So don't don't let that first year color your your thinking and think, oh, my God, you know, it's this is going to be terrible all the time. You'll you'll figure it out. You'll get it set up and you'll be done. But in preparing for that, we've already kind of alluded to it. First of all, get your documentation up to date. Just make sure that your policy and procedures manual says what you're doing now, not what you did three years ago, five years ago. And I'd be willing to bet more than half of the people who listen to this um, have do not have up to date uh, policies and procedures. And then, you know, take a step back and look at it. OK, we've updated. This is what we're doing. Your policies and procedures have to be what you're doing, not what you think you should be doing. But then after you do that, mark off the points where you think you have weak internal controls and go ahead and fix them because the auditors will come. They'll be looking, you know, especially that first audit, that first time you go through it, they're going to be looking for something. So try and eliminate as many of them as um, you possibly can. You know, we've got a little bit of a heads up. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. And also just don't be discouraged by how awful that first year is going to be, because it will be. It's like anything, it's like new technology. Gemma, I can see you nodding along in intently. So any guidance from you, Gemma? I know that you didn't implement the SOX controls at, at, uh, at Tarmac, but, you know, lessons learned for you now that you're managing the control process. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I think one of the things is reach out to the network. You know, we all sit in the same space. We're all going to have the same type of controls in the same, you know, arena that we all sit in. Don't sit there thinking, oh, I don't know what to do or I've got no one to speak to. Reach out to the whole of the network because that's what we're all here for. But also, if if you inherit some of these in the future, kind of just don't accept that that is all there is to it. You know, look for other areas of improvement around your controls are your controls that were implemented 12 months ago still fit for purpose mm -hmm. are they then you know future proofed and all of them kind of things so it is kind of about reacting to your controls and making sure that you're not doing them for the sake of doing them but you're also making sure that they have the value that they're supposed to add and again if you if there's any kind of risk in the future that you react to that and you wrap a control around it love that i love that and my next question actually is going to go we're going to, we're going to extend on that what you just said there but i'm going to ask rachel to chip in so you've heard the ladies talk about you guys us socks and and yeah some of the challenges you know and let's be honest rachel that you know i know a little bit about the stuff that you've been up to and the business and and the challenge you've had and a lot of business have had the same you know some of them are bouncing back from you know the last couple of three years some of them are having resource issues you know the, the labor market in the us uh, in the uk sorry mary is it's challenging it's hard to get good quality people same here same then, here. and then it's hard to retain them you know because it's it's a challenging world we know it's challenging in the accounts payable and you know rachel's mentioned earlier she's going to have to go and get some extra resource to assist in either this process or just the general day to day. So anything too scary in there, Rachel, other than resource? No, when just a bit of background, when I started at Breeden five and a half years ago now, um, they weren't really, you'd be horrified at the lack of controls, lack of um, processes around, you know, these that kind of things. And I'd got um, a corporate, big corporate background. So I bought in a lot of these processes and controls that Breeden have now, and we're literally just taking it to the next level. So with SOX, it's going to be the next level for us, which is why we're bringing in the new software, et cetera. So I have worked with SOX previously in other businesses. So it's not new to me, but within Breeden, we've, we've quite an old school um, business and we buy small businesses. So we've just bought a small business with five people in and the lady comes in on a Saturday morning to process the invoices and make the payments. So as you can imagine, there's no controls around what she's doing. So we then have to go in and put those controls in. So we're con 
constantly putting controls and processes in the smaller businesses that we buy and and it's all it always shocks me you know we we went over a couple of years ago to one of the businesses we bought and they came out with physical physical paper ledgers and there's no <laughs> controls around that you know and they still wrote checks out and things like that so it, it for for me at the minute we're way ahead to where we were five and a half years ago but we've still got a long way to go i'm gonna pretend i didn't hear that remark about checks <laughs> I know you guys in America still do. That. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> we, we we had a but session. I'm glad you said it. Think your accounts payable internal controls are up to speed? Are you certain? We recently developed a short pop quiz so you can test yourself. You can take it right now using the link that will appear on your screen on YouTube and is in the description below. As always, we appreciate your thumbs up and subscribes.